guys. So you guys might notice something different. It is because I am finally, I'm wearing makeup. I haven't worn makeup in a video since like, I don't know, months ago. I haven't worn any makeup in any of my videos. Anyways, this video is not about me. It is about Doobie Roaches and their hair. So what I'm gonna do is at first I'm gonna show you guys what I set them up in, you know, what they're in, um, what they eat, what they shouldn't eat and stuff like that. And temperature, I'm gonna go over all of that and I might even go into breeding. I'm not too sure yet. I regret saying that. Uh, breeding will be for another video because I still haven't like fully bred them, you know? Um, they say only to have like one male per every like three or four females and then they'll breed like crazy, but I still haven't had any of them have babies, so. So I keep them right there in that, and blah, 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 blah. I keep them right there in that bin. And the temperature in this room right now is 80 degrees. And this is my Rage Dragon one, but I put it in here. This is my guinea pig. I'm not going to show you the bottom because it's very dirty. Look at this one. I already fed her and she wants more food. And this is where I keep my bugs. I have my super, no, super worms in there and then my beetles in there. And here are my roaches. So the setup that I have it in is, again, like I said, um, in an 8-gallon bin. I think it's 8 gallons, I'm pretty sure. And I took this, like, netting, and I crisscrossed it a bunch of times, and I taped it on top. I also hot glue it, but I like to tape it. And it was so that they breathe. And it is also crisscrossed on the bottom so that, like, no bugs can get in there. And it is kind of, like, messy. It's not the best setup. Um, it's literally just, like, cardboard. Oh, look, there's one right there. I'll pick her up. So this is a female dubia roach. I think she is full size. I really hope she's pregnant. I'm gonna put her back. Um, I have a lot in here. I do have a couple of nymphs that I ordered a long time ago to like watch them grow. Oh look, there's another female. I do have some super worms in here also, just to clean up a little bit. Oh look, there's a nymph right here. That's what the nymphs look like. They're very adorable. They look like little pill bugs. a bigger one there. Oh, well, there is a male. The males have wings, but they can't fly. Here are some more adults over here. My camera's not focusing on any of them. So there's a male there. There's a couple of females. Is that a female? Yep, that's a female. There's a female and a male. And there's another male. So their hair is fairly simple, you know, you just want to, I feed them the Fluker's High Calcium Cricket Diet because it could also be used for other feeder insects. And I have it right in the bottom over here, right there. And then I give them a set of water crunch. Uh, water crystals. I just bought Fluker's Cricket Quencher. Again, it could be used for other feeder insects and it is just like I fed you already, honey. I'm sorry. Sorry about my guinea pig. She is, she is getting overweight basically because I feel bad when she squeaks so I feed her more. So anyways, this is the Cricket Quencher. Quencher. I have it right there. And it's a non-toxic plastic that is safe for them to eat, so, you know, they won't, like, die or anything. <clears throat> they can't eat normal water because then the nymphs will drown in them. And, like, you know, you don't want that because then you have less feeder insects. Also, no processed foods, so no, like, potato chips or anything like that. Um, you could feed them the table scraps, like, if you were to make a salad and like you chop off the side of the lettuce that you don't like that everybody throws out you can give it to these guys you really want to watch with mold with these because mold will wipe out your entire colony come over here no 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 okay mold will wipe out your entire colony so you know you don't want mold so if you're gonna feed them veggies you can feed them all veggies basically it's also good for their hydration but what you don't want to feed them is meat, poultry, anything like that. Basically, these guys are vegans. <laughs> they are vegans. So don't feed them anything that you would not feed your vegan friend. 
For temperature, you want to keep them between 60 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. I recommend putting a thermometer in here, but at this time, I mean, I only have one, and that is the one that is in there. In there, in the shed. There's Callie. Humidity should be high, but again, watch for mold. Um, the humidity will be fine just with the little, like, plastic quencher things. I forgot to mention, you could also just use water crystals for plants, but I'm afraid that I might buy the wrong one and I might kill some of these, so I never bought those. But there are some people that just use like normal water crystals and it works fine. They can't climb plastic. So that's why like bins like these are so crucial and so good because since they can't climb plastic, they won't get out. You don't even need a lid. I have a lid though because I don't want bugs. I don't want other bugs going in here. I highly recommend also putting super worms or super worm beetles or Mario beetles, whatever you want to call them, in this colony. If you put the worms, they will pupate by themselves. I have noticed that. They will eat some of the dead roach car- car bleh, If you ever see a white dubia roach, you are not special, okay? You don't have some type of new white breed, okay? You just have one that molted. And I found a molted skin right here of a little nymph. If you see this in your colony, that's just the skin. You know, it looks very real, like it's the actual thing, but no, it's just the skin. These guys do not smell. They do not smell. These guys are the best feeder insect that I have ever dealt with. I've tried crickets at first. After a day, their whole thing smelled terribly. And I, I was just done. I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna put up with that. The, um, the worms don't smell as bad. But, like, they still smell worse than roaches. So I recommend roaches. Even though, like, you know, people might be scared of roaches ew roaches so but like they're better and they're better for your animals too they have more protein they have more everything for your pet that you're gonna feed them to so i just i highly recommend having to be a roaches and you don't even have to keep them in your house like i keep them in my shed on that shelf right up there um just like my other feeder insects which are my mario beetles which i'm waiting to breed and then my super worms under that before feeding them to your pet, I recommend either using tweezers or using one of those like plastic dog bowls that I use for Castiel because like then they can't climb out, you know. Castiel is pretty slow. Um, oh, I was talking about Castiel. When feeding them, Castiel is really picky. Castiel is my breed of dragon for those of you who don't know. And um, he basically only eats in his cage and he only eats when it's moving and it has to be a certain size. It cannot be one of those little nymphs or the ones that are the size between their eyes, which is what you're supposed to feed them. No, he likes the really big ones that takes him like a minute to just chew down. So he'll be like, and it'll be just stuck in his mouth. And I'm like, but he doesn't like the other ones. He never catches them. So, you know, what, what am I gonna do? For the food, which is over there, you can make your own out, uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna make another video on that. Uh, I need more videos ideas guys, so please write some down in the description bar because I am really running out of ideas I don't know what to post so I will post a video maybe next week on how to make your own chow chow food for Peter and Seth. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope that I did not miss anything, but if I did miss anything I will post it down in the description bar um, Please don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe to be a part of the uh, What's it called Callie? Notification squad. Good job, notification squad. <laughs> um, I am trying to post more frequently, guys, and I'm sorry that I am not on a schedule. But I am busy. I do have school and stuff like that, and so, you know. I hope you guys have a great day. Right, Callie? Yes. <laughs>